the big game will be in Berkeley next year. Yeah, you know, um, I, I was okay. I mean, regardless, you know, I think that, uh, uh, you know, I, I believe what Sandy said is true. I mean, I think we always got to consider those opportunities and then, you know, make the best decision that we think is best for our program and our fans and our players and everybody. And, and so, you know, we're excited to play a home game here. Obviously, this is uh, – it's one of the most special places to play in the world, and so we're, you know, we're glad we're going to be playing the game here. When you first heard that it might be moved, you, are you thinking it's going to be my first big game in Berkeley? I don't want it hijacked. <laughs> you know what I was thinking is, uh, well, we got a lot of games between now and then. <laughs> that was my initial thought. I was worried about Northwestern, and and uh, you know, honestly, didn't think much about it. What uh, how's how's Harper? Good. Practice today, full practice. It was good to see him out there. Caught balls, everything. Caught balls, ran routes, uh, looked good. So expect him to start. Yeah, expect him to start. What yeah. about the other guys? What did you uh, wait on some news on Scarlett? Yeah, still I, he'll, he'll dress. He'll dress on Saturday, and we'll see see what happens from there. Is he cleared yet? Uh, not yet. Not yet. But he'll <laughs> dress. Do you want to buy a halftime? Or <laughs> well, sort of a Johnny Manziel thing. There's always tomorrow. There's always tomorrow. So that's there's where we are. Always with has that. been tomorrow with <laughs> yeah, him so far. Huh? Yeah, so far. So we'll see. But like I said, he's on the dress list, and he'll dress Saturday. Sebastian. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it should dress and start. Okay. And Forbes is out. Forbes will be out. Yeah. Yep. How did your practice go today? You know, I thought it was good. I thought we had a lot of energy. I thought we cleaned up the things we needed to clean up. Um, so it was good. I thought our meetings were good. Just, just uh, thought it was a good, uh, good vibe today around the whole program. I think our guys are excited to play, and and uh, you know they put the work in, and so now it's it's time to go play. From a personal standpoint, how excited are you? Or yeah, I'm excited. Or? Yeah, I'm I'm excited. I mean, it's there's it's going to be a new experience for me, just like it is a lot of our young players. And so anytime anytime it's something different and something new, you're always excited about it. And, you know, I know the game day atmosphere here is fantastic. I know the crowd's going to be great, the student section especially. And, and so, you know, we're excited to take it all in. But most importantly, you know, we're excited about an opportunity to go play against a good football team. Do, do you have a sense of responsibility to, to, you know, to put on a good face for the first game? And yeah, sure, sure. many people going to be here and yeah. TV watching? Yeah, I mean, you always want to play well. I mean, it doesn't matter who you're playing against. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're in a scrimmage. It, doesn't matter uh, if it's practice, whatever. I mean, you want to play well. You want your guys to compete. And, you know, they're a reflection of us as coaches, and we want it to be a good reflection. Would you, uh, when you hear that Northwestern is practicing at 9 at night, they're starting their practices at 9 at night, what's your what Yeah, I think you? it's smart. I think it's smart. I mean, I think that there's, you know, I've played in some of those when I was at Louisiana Tech going coming out west, and it's tough when you play a late, a late start. And so, you know, I think Pat's done a good job, and I'm sure their bodies will be used to a late start. And, you know, the thing we got to do is just worry about ourselves and, and our preparation, and uh, that's all we can control. Your, coach, your players are about done now, but do you and your coaches, you still work through until uh, you know, uh, we 48 actually, hours? Or? Thursday night's the one night we, get, we go home, see our kids, see our family, uh, watch a little college football. So we'll head home at a decent hour tonight and then come back in the morning and, you know, keep on grinding. And with emphasis on Fridays is typically recruiting, so we'll, we'll do a lot of stuff in terms of recruiting. and and last minute preparation and as we uh, start getting ready. Where will your team be tomorrow night? We'll be in the hotel. Yeah, we'll be in the hotel at the Hilton Garden Inn. Hilton Garden Inn, yeah. Okay. yeah, over in Emeryville. So you're not going to uh, move into the uh, same place as the Northwestern team? No, 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 not <laughs> staying there. So we're, we're going to stay over at the Garden Inn in Emeryville all, all, uh, all fall. We're being drowned out officially here. Yeah, I think, I think that's about it. Thanks, Thanks Coach Sonny. Franklin. Thanks,